just ignore my fan. I feel like I say that in every vlog. But, hold on, let me pull it down some more so I can look even better. You can see me looking beautiful as ever, I know. Make sure you subscribe and watch the whole vlog, okay? This vlog is going to be all over the place. Some footage is missing because it didn't want to upload to my computer at all for some reason. I don't know why still to this day. I'm hungry, but I don't know. I don't feel like chewing that right now. I just want like a smoothie, you know? I don't got nothing to make a smoothie. Would that give me an excuse to get out the house? Hmm. It would. But I don't I don't feel like going nowhere. I don't know. I never feel like going nowhere unless my mom tell me to go somewhere. Anyways, that does not matter. Make sure you all enjoy the vlog. I just told y'all that some footage is missing because they don't want to upload. So if the vlog seemed like where is this going? I don't know where it's going because half of the footage is missing. But I might as well put it out because why not? You know, why not? Also, I am doing something great. I don't want to reveal what it is yet, but just know that it is really something great and I've been plotting on it and thinking on it for like two years and I just never acted on it, but now I'm going to act on it today. Um, I'm really excited. I know it's going to be, I just know it's going to be very successful and grand, honestly. I'm really happy to see where this goes and where it gets me. Cause it's me. What is this on my pillow? I don't know what that is, but I'm just gonna ignore it and turn the pillow the other way and act like I don't see it. So what? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And my lip is red for some reason. I don't even know what I did, but just enjoy the vlog. So y'all, it is 10:47. I've been done cleaning for at least 30 minutes. Um. I made me some coffee. I'm gonna make me some iced coffee. So first thing I do, in my Keurig, as y'all can see right there, I put a little coffee thing in there. It really doesn't matter the kind of coffee you put in there. Just make sure it's a K cup, okay? <clears throat> and I'll put about three and a half tablespoons. Yeah, three and a half tablespoons to four tablespoons of sugar. And then I put some on, what's that stuff? cold foam but I gotta taste this make sure it's sweet it's sweet I could drink this straight black with some sugar I could do that I probably do that like on a weekend it is the weekend is Saturday oh no it's about to be Saturday my potatoes are done all I do is make my eggs and I like ketchup mines so I don't want to hear no back talk So here I had a cup in this cinnamon at the bottom. I put cinnamon in and I have caramel and I have chocolate hazelnut. This is actually pretty freaking good. I thought I was gonna like it. Turns out I do. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it around the side. I'm going to do the same thing as the caramel. Okay. Now I'm going to teach y'all how to make this cold foam. Ooh, hold on. I need some ice. Okay. It's gonna melt as soon as I pour it on my coffee in there. I need more ice. Cream. Noise. 
So what you want to do? You want to get you like a mason jar or either a cup with a lid that's not going to spill or pop up or come off when you shake it. Hold on. And if you're wondering the carrot cup I use, I'm gonna show you. I use the donut jar. Regular, I think it's from Dunkin' Donuts, actually, medium roast. Also, do not repeat after me. Do not, do not. As soon as this is done from the carrot, do not throw it straight in the trash. Leave it to cool, set it down somewhere, or flush it with some water and then throw it away okay because it's hot i'm not saying it could cause a fire but you know just be careful am i getting old because i'm starting to like coffee black with sugar nah that's really Okay, so what you do, you get some half and half or some heavy whipping cream, pour it in, and I promise y'all, that is not a lot, because it's going to be like a foam, so it's really not a lot. I've been biting my tongue for like the past two days. I don't know what's going on, but I know what's going on. And you just pour some agave in there. I really don't measure, but agave is sweet and it tastes really good. And you want to shake it for about a minute or two. Put it on there tight. See that? I probably added too much, but it's fine. Now, of course, I'm not going to make y'all sit here and watch me shake this for a minute. Y'all know it's going to be sped up. With heavy whipping cream, it gets foamier. But let me set y'all big some. I ain't for a stretch. This is so good. I'm going to drink it straight like this, but I did not go through all this work. Just so, you know. Okay. It's not as sweet as I like it. Like, I like it sweet, 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 but it's like, and I'm actually spilling this. I know y'all saw that. that cup when I um, be pouring it out and stuff. The rest of it, I'm just drink, I guess. I'm going to I hope it's not it. I'm not even going to try it because it looks nasty. And I made it. I know it's gonna be good. Yeah, that's sweet. See, if I would have kept shaking it, it would have got more foamy, but I didn't, which is fine. That's what I'm talking about. Some good coffee right there. Yeah, that was so freaking good. Like, and it's like, let me show y'all. It's freaking clear. That's how I like my coffee. I like my coffee like really light. And I also like white beans. But I 
I don't know if that's gonna have me on the toilet or what. Baby, I don't care, but that is good. <laughs> no, but with the um half and half, you're gonna have to shake, shake, shake for at least 10 minutes, five minutes minimum. Cause it like takes a lot for it to get foamy. It was getting there, but I'm well, gonna shake that for no five minutes. So get you some heavy heavy whipping cream. So all you gotta do is shake for no more than four minutes. Well, three really. And you'll be good, babe. I promise you. so I can eat. Stuck this in the microwave. No, I did not turn the microwave on. Okay. Some salt, some pepper, and some paprika in here. Some smoked paprika. Don't ask me why I added paprika. I don't even know myself. Okay? I just know it's gonna slap. Let me show you what I'm working with real quick. Yeah. And I'm just gonna heat my potatoes up in this pan because I did not cook them all that long time in the oven just for, you know, for it to be thrown in the microwave. Like, no. It's <laughs> like over here making an omelet. You know. I do not feel like eating an omelet. I'm gonna break that thing up. See? <clears throat> what I don't like about bloggers when like you get that right position, then you move it to show somebody something, and then you can't get it back into that position. That's what I do. That's what I dislike. But I like vlogging. Oh, oh. and like eight hours, I have to go to work. I'm in a double because for some odd reason he only put me on the schedule for one day a week. Um, no. That's why we're not doing. Second, you lucky I'm caught up with it again. I need money and I'm trying to, you know, get my mama out and things like that. So, there is that reason. Also, I have bills that, you know, have to be attended to. So, you know, it's just an inconvenience, okay? And a waste, like, yes, it is a waste of my time, honestly, because time is something you cannot get back at all. But, <clears throat> y'all, I don't 
talk to this boy, but like, I'm not gonna try to hook me up with this white boy. He, he cute. But I don't know, I feel like she's trying to be funny. Cause she ain't saying that little white boy my way. But y'all, he's really cute. He's like, I don't know. But it's good as H E double L hockey sticks, okay? I'm gonna show y'all. Some ketchup. I like, um, I don't do my whole thing covered in ketchup first. I do like half of it, you know, just in case. I gotta heat it back up. Thought I heard something. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't do the whole thing. It just gets on and heat it back up. I feel like I'm being loud. And like, I'm not trying to whisper, but my voice is just so freaking weird right now. I don't know what's going on. Probably because I've been my tongue like 12 times in the past two days. And it's right here on the side. Like, mm, like right here. Mm. I need my booty ache for the way I just threw this down in the kitchen. Y'all hear that cheese? That's how you know it's real cheesy. Tonk. Had to show y'all it was like, I don't know if I'm the only one who has done this. But while eating ice cream, am I the only one who's like actually like pick the ice cream, you finna eat it, like and then eat it? Am I the only one who has done that before? Mmm. <laughs> Seriously, I'll just decide I've done that before. I did it like two days ago. I was like, what the F? Why am I blowing my ice cream? Because it's not hot. You know what I mean? I don't know Oh my God. Let me see my streaks before I lose them. We finna head into the next when day. When I tell y'all, these cheese fries finna hit. And that biscuit, that biscuit is so good, y'all. <laughs> Tartar sauce and ranch. Oh my God. Ooh, if you guys don't know, this is from the um pool hall up to this is from the pool hall and this is my first time having the chili cheese fries mm. I have a solid it would be an eight if these fries had some seasoning to it, you know. So I don't know. I can't. I can't have no unseasoned fry. You know what I mean? It would definitely be an eight if these fries were seasoned. Now shrimp tastes about itself first. Right 
It's a gnat flying around and it's gonna piss me off. Cause uh uh. Oh, it is gnat season. Oh my god. And that biscuit. Dish smack. Mm. Y'all. Oh my god. That is so good. The biscuit is so, it's like sweet, airy, soft, and a little salty. Oh my god, that looks so good. <laughs> yeah. You know them dry hands with the best. But when I tell you guys, I've been watching Twilight all day yesterday and today. And I'm legit finna rewatch it again. <laughs> Cause I don't know, I love Twilight. Like, I first watched Twilight when I was six. Maybe seven. And I've been in love with Twilight ever since. But yeah, today is Monday. To be exact, I really don't know what I have planned for the rest of the week. But I know something big is coming. I'm prepared. And I'm so ready. I hope y'all enjoyed my car tour. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Okay, so this is gonna be working with. I might not even wear the glasses because like I'm gonna have on shades. Purse, shoes. This this is the whole fit. I might throw on some jewelry, some earrings. I might do pearls, no do studs. Yeah, I'm just show y'all how it all is gonna come out. Okay, y'all see the glare, but this is the outfit you were looking. Obviously, I'm not wearing no shoes, but I look so good. I'm gonna show y'all in the mirror, but I don't know if it's gonna give y'all the justice. Mm, let's see. All right, because this is what we're looking like. You know, I look. Who you know that look this good? My camera quality should be a lot more better. But hey, I'm still that girl. Like, what? Zakaya, her look sexy, but yes, me. Yeah, and what about it? Okay, so I just came from my orthodontist appointment. I have to keep my retainer. Because this whole side is like straight and is sitting well, but this side isn't. So he wants me to wear straight all day, six weeks straight. Six weeks is a whole month and two weeks, if y'all didn't know. Because four weeks in a month, five, six. Okay? Good math lesson. I hope the air not too loud, but maybe it's high. I'm going to turn the air back on all the way. Y'all probably like, girl, now you got on the same shirt from yesterday. And do. And do. And what about it? What you gonna do about it? Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm gonna go to Family Dollar. I really want this scrub handle brush. I know they have it on Amazon for five. Now my light embarrassing me. Stop. I gotta change the bulb. But just ignore that, please. Uh, Y'all, my forehead is so big. So whoever there at the cash, um, whoever's cashier, I hope they know how to count change because they finna be a little upset because I'm paying with nothing but change. <laughs> no, I do not want to use my card. I want to get rid of all my dimes. I'm I'm keeping my quarters. I have a lot of quarters. But I'm going to get rid of all my dimes. And then next, probably my nickels. But I don't know. I don't want to count no nickels either, to be honest with you. But yeah, your girl is finna hit. Why do I look like my body lopsided? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, but your girl is finna head out. And I will see y'all at Family Dollar. Family, Family Dollar. So I am in Family Dollar. And I'm not seeing what I'm looking for. We got what you're looking for. What you're looking for. We got what you're looking for. So I'm probably just have to order it on Amazon. In which I don't want to do that because I just wanted to buy it from the store. But you know, I could have got a good answer if you know they would pick up a phone. They don't pick up a phone. I don't know why do y'all be buying a phone if y'all don't pick up a phone? Like, did y'all not pay the bill? Hmm? 
and apparently this thing is this big old thing is four dollars i don't believe it but shit I know he want a car freshener, but at the same time, I don't know. They're like, what I'm looking for is not in here, and it's making me a little upset. Um, oh. Alert, alert, alert. I found them. Smelling good in the smoke it out. Hmm. Yeah. Not for real. 350. I thought these things was a dollar. What an entire frick. Car scents. I do like these though. Oh, that smells nice. But you know, you can never go wrong with that. Black eyes ain't smelling like that though. Hold on. Uh, black eyes got a smell to it. Oh, I'm gonna have to get that black ice. So this is three fifty. So it's probably gonna be four dollars with tax. Um, hmm, what else? I'm not seeing what else I would want. Or should I just wait and do a corn shopping video? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Smell good car, hopper and decorating it. All right, and that's what we're going to do. Oh my gosh, y'all. I just looked in the freezer and I have some mochi ice cream. Some strawberry was already open. I guess she thought we were like individually wrapped. I don't know what she thought, but it was already open. I was like, ah, I got mochi. I got mochi. So I might as well start a mochi series on my channel. Cause yeah, this is strawberry. I already had mango, I already had vanilla. I feel like I had another flavor too. So I'm just like create a playlist and call it the mochi series. I love mochi. I love mochi. I'm not really a big fan of strawberry ice cream though. That's the thing. <laughs> like strawberry and chocolate ice cream, I'm really not a fan. I'm not. You could definitely taste the milk on the ice cream. Eighty calories for pure peas. I don't know. I really taste a lot of vanilla ice cream, but you get a small hint of strawberry. If that makes sense. You get that strawberry taste at the end. It's good though. This is such a pretty pink. <laughs> mm. I guess it's like, like Patty says, starchy because it's made from sweet rice dough and rice is starchy. I see the little strawberry. Just want to let y'all know that this is good. Okay. These are turkey necks right here, baby. It's the neck of a turkey, okay? And I'm going to season them real good and I'm going to cook them real good. You want some? You want to try it? <laughs> no. So let me, let me, let me put y'all on the game real quick, right? So, Kevin Gates. Why my body looks so like, I don't know. But. Kevin Gates is going on tour right now, and the tour is called Only the Generals, right? And I thought he wasn't coming to Arizona. Turns out he's going to Glendale. Glendale. My wife ain't just go to Phoenix, but okay, whatever. 
I hope it's just him because I saw on the flyer it was like sweetie and a whole bunch of other people. I don't want to see her. I don't want to see none of them. I only want to see Kevin. So I really hope it's none of them but I feel like when you go to a concert people open up for him. You know what I mean? I got an outfit in my head a little bit but the, but, but the, the issue, I got the money. The issue is <laughs> getting there. <laughs> I have my license. I've never dri driven on a major like highway highway before. You know what I mean? And Glendale, like Phoenix, is like three hours away. So I'm like, can we do this? Can we do this? <laughs> okay, okay. So that's the that, that's the other thing. Mind you, I've never been to a concert before ever in my life. Like, <sighs> yeah. So that's the issue. So you know, if you kind of want to go to the concert with me and then you want to drive, that would be so awesome that would help me out a lot i'll buy you something to eat <laughs> oh but i also do want a tattoo i think i went right here honestly but i really don't know where i want my tattoo yeah i got these pants off of on timo actually i got these up for timo they're really supposed to be like this but i just do like this because these things is huge okay i have, I have a couple tattoos okay but <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where I want the first one at. Like, do I want it on my back? Like, right here? That would be a tramp stamp, actually. And I don't know. When I used to see people with those tattoos, I was like, I would just look at it because I was like, that's kind of weird. And again, I'm like, hmm, now that I'm older, I want a tramp stamp tattoo and I don't care how you feel about it because one is not your body and you can't tell me what to do. Um, Fifth of all, I want a whole thigh tattoo, right? Not a whole thigh tattoo, like thigh tattoo and back thigh as well. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna one thigh tattoo in the front and the back thigh tattoo right here, but I have a little bit into it, so I don't know how that's gonna work. Yeah, I saw the video where I screamed when I got a belly pierce. My nose piercing video up there too is copyrighted, like. But I really don't care because I don't care. Um, you see the abs coming in? Mm. I'm hungry now. I don't know what to eat. I might eat me some breakfast. I did have cereal, but now it's going on like five o'clock. So if you live in like in the eastern I can't be scared about like five, six, it's eight o'clock. Um, hmm, what else? I'm just rambling at this point, guys, though. Um, for real, though, if you want to go see Kim Gates with me, please let me know. And honestly, I'm getting a tattoo before I go see Kevin Gates. Because, like, I don't know, I just really, really, really want a tattoo. I've been wanting a tattoo for the longest. I just don't know what to get. I have did so many tattoo designs. I did like eight tattoo designs and I don't, I don't know. I know I want like, no, I know what I want. I just don't know where I want it on me. I know I don't want anything on my stomach. Like here, I don't know yet about here. Maybe I should get an ankle tattoo. What, um, what's my favorite song? I have a lot of favorite songs. Maybe I should get my favorite song. I was gonna get okay, so Black Line, like Black Line, Black Line, that makes sense to y'all. Then I was gonna get like Stories Behind It. Then I was gonna get, um, What's that Janae Aiko song with Kendrick Lamar in it? It's like, um, they say the truth ain't pretty. No, no, yes. If everything is to think of, what a life. That's what it is. I was gonna get, what a life. What a life we die to live in. But then I was like, hold on. <laughs> the die part. Mm. Is what made me stop because what? What a life you had to live in. What a life. What a life that I've been given. 
I think I'm gonna just get what a life, what a life that I've been given. Then a butterfly tattoo. Oh my god, what do I feel like it's gonna be like three, four hundred dollars? But she does good work. But honestly, here in Arizona, unless you go like to Phoenix or Tucson, it's hard to find people that tattoo on darker skin. But there was this one man who was tattooing this black man, and uh, and it was looking very, very good. But I'm going to someone who's also. I wouldn't even say she's cheap. Her work is very good. She had, well, I might use light skin, but you know, and her tattoos are affordable. She don't charge you an arm and a leg for a baby tattoo. Well, why are you charging somebody $200 for a small heart tattoo, huh? Huh? No, it ain't making sense, is it? But yeah, so I'm gonna DM her and I'm like, hey mom, can I go get this tattoo? I don't know, it's kind of going to be circle, stars, the stars are going to be in, should they be in white? Okay, okay. I don't know. Or, yeah, I'm going to put a butterfly in there too. You know, the thing is, I hate freaking butterfly tattoos. I don't know what it is. Like, I hate butterfly tattoos because I feel like everybody has a butterfly tattoo. But I'm like, I don't get the hype. Like, they're ugly and not pretty to me. But I'm on a white butterfly, butterfly tattoo on me. Mm, maybe I'm just being a hypocrite right now. But that's just me. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to get that tattoo. Mmm. I want the whole moon tattooed on me, like I want the full moon, half moon, crescent, with stars tattooed on me, going in a circle, but I wanted that, like, on my, I don't know, but y'all get the gist, like, I want a lot, <sighs> so I'm gonna be like, mom, do you wanna go get a tattoo, well, she's not gonna go get a tattoo with me, but I'm like, you wanna come with me to get my tattoo, um, or she's just like, so